But what do we have? Some Oxalam LEDs for a 2016 F-150. That's what they're going in. Here is the skew and I'll put the um, product link in the description. High beams, low beams. Let's open these suckers up. Oh, it comes with some nice gloves. And there they are. Plug and play. So we will chuck them in the F-150. Um, I already have LEDs in my truck. So these are going in a buddy's truck. So I couldn't shoot the before video of what the headlights looked like before, but you all know what your headlights look like. They suck. Hence, that's why we are watching this video so we can see what LED lights look like in the stock housing. And I can tell you, they look way better. So the high beam, we're going with this 9005 HB3. For the low beam, you're doing a it's H11. Well, this is H8, H9, H11, H16. So we will chuck these puppies in there. They are a cool temperature, 6500K. A nice aluminum body on the light. All right, to get to the lights, I'm sure you've seen tons of these videos, but. Um, you can take the tire off if you want, or that seems like a little excessive. So just turn it one direction so it gives you some space into here. And again, the high beam is the 9005, and the low beam is the H11. So in order to get to it, you have to get this inner fender liner peeled back. So he has fender flares. This is my buddy's truck. He has fender flares. I just cut a little notch in here so I can get to it, but there's a little bolt in here. That guy. There's one here. There's a plastic screw type thing. Plastic one. Okay, oh, just pops it. There we go. Little unscrew and pop. And should be one more okay one of these guys up top here which it always helps to have plastic pry tools never had these before but man they come in handy it's so much nicer and easier to just get under there and give a little pop instead of trying to use a flathead screwdriver or whatever so harbor freight baby or amazon just get a set of these they're nice so we will take out these. I have a little electric uh, ratchet. The size of those little bolts are 7 32nd. Alright, so this lower screw uh, wouldn't come out easy. You can see it's a little... I'm in Pennsylvania, so obviously there's rust on it somewhere. Um, but it wouldn't come out, it just wouldn't back out, so I stuck the pry wire thingy back behind here and just gave some pressure pulling on this plastic while I backed this out and then it came out. And then, so two screws, one here, one here, plastic pop rivet here, and then a screw pop rivet here. And you should be able to pull this fender liner back and away. So then you take these dust caps off. It's gonna be hard to film the whole process, but there's these dust caps that come off. You just pull them off and get them out of there. All right, this is the bottom one. And to get that off, you just pull this little clip backwards and slide it straight down. And then you can pull it out. Bulb sitting in there like this. And I just gave it a little twist to the right and pulled the bulb out. These bulbs are still good. So just don't touch them with your fingers. You don't want finger grease on them and uh, they'll be good as backups, but I doubt he'll put them back in. 
Also, one thing to note is that the upper, upper light, upper bulb is the low beam. The lower bulb is the high beam. So normally I'm like, oh, low beam is the low light. Wrong. I know I'm reiterating this stuff over and over again, but I don't want you to put the wrong one in because that's annoying. So low space, 9,005 bulb, which is the high beam. Upper, low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam. Here, you can put on your fancy white gloves if you want. Probably a good idea. And then we will take this. I'm probably going to plug it in first into the wiring harness and then put it in like this, twist it, get it in the space. Trying not to bang it on anything and all that stuff. So just be gentle. So again, most of you have changed bulbs before, but if you haven't, see those little tabs around there? There's corresponding tabs in the housing so it was kind of on an angle like that. Put it in, turned it, popped in there. So, you zoom in here, I'll show you. Probably not a good view. You can see the new one is in there. And now we'll put in the upper one. Test it out, you could already see the difference. Dull, crappy halogen, nice bright white. LED. Sorry for the lawnmower noise, but that's what you get in the backyard. Um, so the upper one, the housing, I had to push it with my thumb and pull down. The other one, you stick your thumb on the top there and pry back. So the high beam, you pry back and pull down. This one, you push your thumb in there, clicks, then you pull it out. So this is the Alobi. And if you are driving over and you're changing them right away, they're gonna be hot, so watch yourself. So the upper one took a little bit more work to get in in there, because you can't really see, you just kinda gotta use your hands and feel around. So, nice bright white compared to yellow halogen. and the Fraptor grill. So again, halogen, beautiful bright whites, and I'll get a shot of these at night. Just redo what you did in reverse. Two screws, two plastic clips, put the fender back on there, good to go. Go to the other side, turn the wheel. Don't forget to turn the wheel, give yourself some space, do the other side. All right, here we are with a little light review. My uh, friend from Ride the Earth hooked me up with some new headlights to replace the old ones in my uh, 2015 F-150. So here we are, low beams. Now we got some high beams, definitely much brighter than the factory ones, uh, even on low and high setting. So there you go, pretty happy with the upgrade. All right, both are installed. There you go, nice bright white. Uh, my initial review is they're nice, super bright, super white, seem to be quality. The bottom dust boot fits for the high beam. The upper dust boot, the back of the light is too close to the housing, so you can't put the dust boot on completely. It's only about that much that won't seal at the very, very top. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing. I think that's a common thing with LEDs. Um, I have the Anzo headlights, so there's more room in there, so the LED was able to fit inside of it and still get the dust cap on, but I'm sure it's fine. So that's it. Like and subscribe.